Good Tuesday. Ah, yes, it's coming again. Um, EJ is puny, puny today. And as you can tell from my voice, I'm getting there. But we're going to do this anyway. I'm going to take my glasses off for the moment because I don't need them. Um, we're going to just check in for the Tuesday check-in. Um, just to tell you kind of how last week went and I'll attach my, I, I've got it early today. I guess the less you move, the quicker they send it to you. I don't know. Drinking a mushroom coffee, a little bit of regular coffee and my protein shake with some ice cause that's how I like it lately. While we're talking, I'm going to go ahead and snake and do some skincare because I finished my two mile walk, washed my face, and it's time to do that stuff. Um, seriously, um, I was liking the, the gray, I was getting used to it, and a little side to just a whole just go with me on this little rabbit trail. Um, we surprised Ian, um, and my husband videoed the surprise so his mother could see it when she got in from work. She knew about the surprise. Um, the only reason why we didn't wait is because he went with my husband to get said surprise. <laughs> and he was going to explode. So, yeah. So we just let him, yeah. But anyway, when my husband videoed the, from the side in the back, I don't like the way, it's not enough gray that's coming in. So I guess we're going to end up using that hair dye that I've had for a few months after all. Um, so, yeah. Um, And I don't know why I'm being real secretive. We bought Ian a new computer because he, we bought him a gaming computer because he has found a couple of games, they're car games, and he's, one of them he's wanted for several years, and it's no chat, no anything like that, so he... Has worked hard so we got it for him found a good deal and using the peter thomas roth skincare um but yeah um whenever i was my my husband went to pick up the computer and ian went with him and it was like well you know graham's gonna give you her old computer or maybe or something like that you know we're just messing with him and well it just three computers and one excited little boy, um, it was like, oh, I'm just going to give it to him because this way we can, you know, start setting it up and he can play his game because he got, he got, um, I think it's Beam MG. It's a little car game. It was one of his birthday gifts and it wouldn't work on his little computer enough for him to actually play it. And he's waited probably, I don't know, maybe a year at least, if not more than that, to get this game. And he's technically not old enough, but again, it's not, there's no chat, there's no engagement. Um, he's building cars and driving them. Um, kind of, the only thing that he doesn't do in his real life is drive them, so, you know. Anyway, back to what we're supposed to be talking about, because I think we're four minutes into this. Um, last week, the steps were okay. Movement was okay. I think my best day was last Monday, according to, um, what Fitbit says. Um, Wednesday was, uh, was prep for my colonoscopy. I did things a little different, and I'm going to recommend what I did to those of you that are my age and have this coming up, um, 
Wednesday afternoon, I took a nap um, because my prep started at six. So I know in times past, I've had to have these since I was in my early thirties because my dad had colon cancer. Um, um, train of thought just derailed. Um, I also, I've, I've tried in times past to, you know, sip on and stuff like that. I didn't this time. I intentionally drank apple juice way before it was time to prep. I intentionally drank chicken broth way before it was time to prep. I intentionally used liquid IV and drank water I, as much as I consumed as much as I possibly could before that six o'clock prep. I'm going to tell you this was the hardest to get down prep. I, it was it's soup prep and it's a two solution prep. You do one the night before one. It, I did the second one at four o'clock in the morning. It worked. We'll leave that there. Um, I got, because of how it worked, and, be, and I think because of, you know, hydrating so much on this back end, um, I got to, I got to sleep a couple of hours, which kind of made it a little bit easier the next morning. I was still grumpy. <laughs> I hate doing prep, not gonna lie. Um, so obviously when it comes to food and stuff like that, it's still been a little, you know, I, I got home the doctor asked me what I wanted to eat after my procedure, and I said, I want a steak. Um, but, you know, I said we had McDonald's. So, <laughs> um, and if you don't know, even on your burger, and I'm not saying that it makes it great, because it doesn't, it's still fast food, but you can ask for no salt on your burger, on your fries, and, and you know, they will not salt it, and you can tell a difference if they get your order right. Um, and it just makes it just a little bit better for you. I'm not a huge advocate of fast food, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And lately that's kind of been what we've had to do. <laughs> um, so we went into, I had two days, I had two polyps taken out. I have results to look at in here in a bit. Um, took, uh, he put me on bed rest Thursday. I think they must have been close together. Um, I've had polyps before and not had the discomfort that I had as long as. So I'm thinking they were small. Um, they may have been deep. I don't know. Um, but there was something a little bit different. I had a little bit more pain. So they put me two days resting um, no straining, all that neat stuff. So Dr. Ian kept me straight. Um, but anyway, it's, I'm just kind of yammering. Um, step count, pretty decent given everything. You know, we power outage. Um, first thing that we did was we just grabbed foods that were non-perishable so that we did not have to open the refrigerators or freezer. Um, and just got through the power outage part. Anyway, that's where we land this week. It is the 1st of October. It is time to reset. Um, try to get back into, you know, adding more of the salmon back into the lineup and everything like that. So I've got to make some grocery orders. Um, time to try to get back on track and do better. We've not been consuming as much salads as we were and all that neato stuff. So we got to do, we got to flip back to where we were doing better. Um, Y'all have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting this. When you watch this video, you are just watching me be accountable and it helps me to be accountable when you watch. And I appreciate it so very much because you're helping me succeed. Have a great day. Remember, I'm the mayor's daughter. And I'm the mayor's great-grandson. I had a perfect timing. Yes, you did. Yeah.
We'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.